bit of a tune. Uh, no, I'm with Badger, Badger, Fox and Badger. What? What's that? Taxidermist. <laughs> solicitors. I'll remember that next time I nick some spoons. <laughs> yeah, by heck, your daughter's a belter. <laughs> <laughs> I want you. You are. I ache for your body. Oh, heck. Nobody goes for a haircut in the middle of his wedding reception. Then it's time to break the mold of British social behaviour. If you want me with a haircut, you shall have me with a haircut. Yes. I don't want to start my honeymoon riddled with guilt. Might make me impotent. <laughs> There's no need to be disgusting. Everybody says what a picture Jenny looks. Well, she does. Well, nobody says what a picture Paul looks. Well, he doesn't. <laughs> I never intended to have it cut. I just wanted to brighten her. Oh, Jenny. I love you. I'm lying. I was going to have it cut, but there were a queue. Oh, Paul! <laughs> yeah, we all make Jerry. He's the worst, best man I've ever come across. I couldn't make out whether we're drunk or dis... Oh, dyslexic. yeah, we're just in the speeches. Hey, hey, hey. Dyslexia isn't a laughing matter, Elvis. No. Oh, I'm sorry, he is dyslexic, is he? No, he's drunk. Oh. But he could have been. <laughs> if she knew... I know, I know, I feel terrible. Oh, Good. Lord. You don't suffer from postcoital depression, do you? Please. <laughs> I'm pregnant! <laughs> Not the response she expected. After all, your family isn't as pure as the driven snow. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, your daughter's pregnant on a wedding day. Your son did have something to do with that? Yes, I hope. <laughs> I mean, who ever heard of a famous philosopher called Elvis? <laughs> oh, my God! This wedding day's just getting better! Have a little, a little canvas stool. Have you mentioned it to your doctor? <laughs> Have you had any of these infectious diseases? Well, let's see. Yes. Yes. Yes, and that one. Yes. Yes. Oh, I've still got that one. <laughs> and that one. You okay? That was terrible. It's like riding in a flaming liquidizer. Have you got a penny? <laughs> Where are you from? Are you soft or something? I just got off the bloody sidecar. <laughs> Cedric was a result of an early test tube experiment. Before they realised, they ought to wash the test tubes out first. <laughs> this is it. Where are you? Yeah. Where? I'm on a field. Where the bloody hell's here? <laughs> My name is Oliver Hawkin, and I'm a fortune teller. Ow! Ow! Bloody owl. See, three of us left. Out of what? Out of the people at the seance. Can <gasps> you see them? Still there from five years ago. I'm praying, praying. It's very close. <laughs> it's all right. No! Here's my mother. Are you planning to sleep with my daddy? Excuse me. Well, you see, the second Marquis was the black sheep to end all black sheep. He was a Satanist, a sadist, and a. Oh. And those were his Excuse me. Six of us are dead or damaged. And I'm the next one in line. I don't know how to explain it. I do have these bad thoughts about people sometimes. And then things... Things just happen. Oh, dear.
God, guys. It's like a scene out of The Exorcist. What the hell is that? What? What? The... What is that? That's okay. Oh, That's... my God. Is there anything in here? Please go away. No! <laughs> it would be nice to catch something on camera, <laughs> but I really don't want to do this. And I'm not happy about doing it. One bit. Well, divas, as you're calling them, this elemental ghost, which is a ghost that's never allegedly lived as a human being. It's created by negative situations, murders, yeah. unpleasant thoughts, and it just sort of creates a feeling of negativity, and that takes on an intelligence. That's the theory. All you have to do, don't be, you know, panic or anything like that. That, no, it's it'll easy problem... for you to say. I know, but... I can hear footsteps. She said it felt like here. As if there was a cat going. Oh, Who's that? You just did that with the coin. I heard it. I heard Seriously? it. Seriously? Was that not you? Yeah. No. I can't stand it anymore. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I can't. I know I'm being a complete wuss. I'm just too scared to move now. I've got to make it to the door. Good God Almighty. <laughs> oh dear, I'll have to pay you all in sixpences. You can't do that. Why? Well, Blumish is a clipper, you're not a fruit machine. <laughs> okay, get in then. All right. <laughs> Got rid of him, the stupid nit. He's not such a nit. Why? He didn't buy a ticket. <laughs> Right, if he wants to start a fight, you rap smartly on the window of the cab. <laughs> of course, so he can come and help you. No, so he can lock himself in. <laughs> Did you out directly, Butler? <coughs> Mind you, leave on time. Yes, sir. Oh, Stan! You're giving him the Boy Scout salute. No, 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 that's the busman's salute. <laughs> I'm not supposed to stop till I get to the end of the route. And where's that? We turn round at the cemetery gates. <laughs> Good, but the look of her, I might just well drive straight in. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't ill, you just ate a tin of curry powder and painted your face green. <laughs> I knew it was a hoax because the paint washed off when that enema backfired. <laughs> Here's your other quid. Great, two quid. I knew today was my lucky day, toss it over. We lost oh, oh. <laughs> Get the ambulance! We haven't got an ambulance! <laughs> have you brought me a birthday present? No. Ooh, you have to have a birthday forfeit then. What do you mean, forfeit? This. <laughs> <laughs> mess with the party animal. Hi, bird. Get out, it's not your birthday. <laughs> there was absolutely no proof that it was me. But except you couldn't get your hands out of your pockets all day. <laughs> Mind you, what's new? <laughs> I have given you a red hot tip. I know, and there's nothing I can do about it now, is there? <laughs> I'm just got that. That's a bit more like it. That's bigger, isn't it? Ooh, I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. It's, it's the remote control from the yeah. television set. <laughs> That's right. <Ooh>. <laughs> really? Yeah, she'll come first. What, before me? <laughs> Good grief, that's quick. <laughs> Hide the glow. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell did it just do? Look, behave 
yourself. Oh, come, come here. here. Oh, come, come here. Come, come here. here. Look, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Have some more fruit. Go on. Oh, I don't mind if I do. That's good stuff, this. Oh, thank you, sir. It's my own recipe. Yeah? And what do you put in it? Just loads of different fruit juices? Oh, loads of different fruit juices and uh, a case of vodka. <laughs> oh, now, Caroline, I'm your mother. You can tell me anything. <laughs> well, Mother, I, I remember rolling around on the... Oh, my God, Mother. I've slept with Charlie. <laughs> Better than I thought. <laughs> well, you're not driving. Who's going to stop me? Me. Uh, uh, let's not be too hasty, sir. Where's... Let me call Lady Rock. Let me see. Uh, is that can party? she stop him driving? No, sir, but she'd hate to miss a good punch up. <laughs> I didn't kiss you, you kissed me. I did not. <laughs> I did not. I did. I did not. Well, if I did, which is still debatable, I didn't mean it. I'll take it from me, you meant it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem to like it. And how would you remember Miss Lost Weekend? <laughs> oh, look, he's injured. Now's your chance, Isabel. Make him take his clothes off and examine him. <laughs> so they're not written in live, eh? Oh, the human frame can only stand so much. It wouldn't surprise yeah, me if we were gone by end at week. Bit quick with your burying, aren't you? I'll have a scotch and a pineapple juice. Oh, no good shutting your eyes to facts. Or in buying wreaths for a man who's still alive. Well, no harm in being prepared. He's been at death's door a couple of days now. Don't you think that's our business? He's had enough for now, I think. The doctor says you'll soon be fine, Joe. Uh, I'd like to go to sleep now. We'll do one of us round tomorrow. Don't forget to wake up again. I'm not going up to the Sugdens again. Made a pass at you, did he? No. Give him time, he will. Just when I was in Woolpack, Amos said our Joe had drunk more than was good for him. Captain Jack's heard it. All the village has, most like. Well, how long before police hear it, well, too? I say, and the cops. Well, old Amos reckons he used to come back here from time to time and he wanted to see his family. So what was it for, do you think? How would I know? You I want... never saw him. You want to ask him sometime? See you, son. Might be interesting. I'm asking him nothing. I'm finished with him. No, nah, love. You never finished with him, did you? Marion Wilkes tends her love. She brought us over. You don't want to hear that. She's with the father now. Joe, are you all right? Oh, boy, I'm lucky. I'll say I'm lucky. This is my lucky day. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> not really. You are? No, I'm not. You are, you are. No. Honest. I'm all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, we were serving this Chinese meal in this Chinese restaurant, you see, and then Sylvester and Rand came in and helped us finish off the food, and then we were kissing on the pavement. Are you in it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Well, it's messed those flowers up now. <laughs> now, tell me, what's she like? How many times have you been out with her? Is it serious? But when are you bringing her home? Are you going to marry her? If so, when? <laughs> we'll be out. <laughs> oh, well done, James. Sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> it's a theatrical joke. At least it used to be. I heard a comic say it once. Come to think of it, nobody laughed then either. <clears throat> Madame? I need more of this mum. Oh, I like his mum. I didn't see what happened. I didn't know where Sylvester lived, so I brought him back here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the audience are loving this. Hi. <laughs> Me, Quilius. Hey? Me, Quilius. This is the dawning of the age of Quilius. Oh, that means he has a laughing quicksilver.
silver temperament and always brings pleasure to others. And no one was asking him. <laughs> Help so, yourself. So, uh, who exactly are you trying to bone tonight? Oh, I'm not in the game. If I can get my shopping home intact, <laughs> I'll be happy. That's hey, me. Hey, gotcha, boy. You are allowed to hit the pins, you know. You are? Yeah. In some bowling alleys, it's actually encouraged. Oh, right. I didn't want to disturb them. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. You're quite the gentleman. Ow. She's squeezing my... Don't complain. <laughs> Watch me bowl, Jeff. <laughs> I'm bowling, all right? I'm bowling fruit. You get sacked at <laughs> sacked. Don't tell. To us. To us. To us. Oh, come on. Someone get the carving knife and let's get it over with. I've got this silly competition on with Stevie at the moment and need a favour before you go. Fancy a self-defence class tonight? <laughs> but, um, just, just out of interest, if you, um, if you had to take one of us out to, to dinner, who, who is it? Who would who you... Oh, uh, well, it's a nice position to be in. Um... <laughs> That'd be later, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mount Stubbins! You stabbed the ball! <laughs> Come toward me and go for a right arm headlock. Yo, give me the cracker, I'll blow your face off. <laughs> Base the laugh on the song Barbie Girl by Aqua. I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> How do you know that song? Your father has a penchant for musical contraceptives. <laughs> well, don't take your focus off Gary. Gary and I are just friends. You're just saying that because you want my focus off wallet guy. Well, I'm not being rude, but you're an ugly bitch. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, everyone could have a go. <laughs> <laughs> don't like it! Don't like it! Hi there. You made it. Yeah. Take up. Sorry, I've lost my dog. Oh my god! I'm H A P P Y. I'm H A P P Y. I'm. He's in a bad way. It's no good talking to him. He hasn't spoken since he came in here. Have you seen him yet? Except for the odd remark. <laughs> I want to stand outside this door and don't let anyone in or out. You understand? Right. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to help me, Roy. Have I? Well, don't look like that. He's threatened to cut my liver out. What shall I do? Tell him he rammed it down on the national earth. <laughs> Please say you forgive me or I'll kill myself. <laughs> do you forgive your honor? Yeah. <laughs> if there's going to be any violence... There won't be any violence. He's looking for somebody swathed in bandages. But when he finds out that it's you and not me, he'll be satisfied. But when I take them off, he's going to expect some horrible, ghastly sight. Well, what makes you think he's going to be disappointed? <laughs> What are you going to do? Am I? Just leave it to me. I thought I was safe in hospital. In this place, you must be joking. I don't want to worry you, but people have been known to die in here. <laughs> What's the sagapo mean? It's Greek. It means I love you and you can wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> How do you know I'm smiling? After that, anybody would be smiling. <laughs> Look, I hope you won't judge me too harshly, but it's the old story, I'm afraid, of two people who thought they were in love. Strike me. I wouldn't have thought he was your type. <laughs> she is a magnificent woman. Dark-eyed, fiery, Latin good looks. But just remember, they go to seed very early. She'll be fat before she's 40. I wasn't going to be that long, just a few minutes. <laughs> well, not this child, because he is blind. And because all the powers of man and his medicine could not heal him, but I... There you are, you lying phony. Do you realize how long I've been waiting for you? Come back here. You don't get away with this. <laughs> you took everything I had. All my money, everything. Was that God's will? And I'm dying. But we have all given up something for this damn place. And if all we are to you, some kind of a liability. What's well, then maybe up? we'd be better off without you. You, Mira, I'll kill you. Jerry, look, maybe you think I'm not serious. 
Does he take... He takes on the illnesses. If he can heal, let him heal. There's always a price to pay, Jerry. First the glove heals, and then the glove kills to pay for it. Oh, for that too much. <laughs> This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and... Bob. Hey, Benson. Could you tell the Tates we're here? Very well. <laughs> They're here! <laughs> <laughs> you, you mean kill, man? Oh, then a contract. You want to call it kill, you call it kill. Personally, I don't like the word. <laughs> well, well, who would it be? It would be the man... Who killed your father? His stepdad. Oh, Got to kill his stepdad. Drink up, Captain. We move out at dawn. <laughs> Gramps, World War II is over. <laughs> Mother, how would you like a daughter? What are you talking about? Sit down, Ma. Jody, just tell me. I'm thinking of having a sex change operation. Yes, you are. I the boss and I have fired you. Wrong, Chester. <laughs> I am now the boss. <laughs> you see, you fire me and I tell Jessica everything. Fine, tell Jessica. She'll never believe you. And then maybe I'll call the SEC and tell them what you did with the Whitney Trust Fund. They'll believe you. Take your hands off my daughter! Take your hands off him! You my son! My son! My son! Benson still front to the door. This is my job, Turkey. Thank you. <laughs> Mary, where are you? When you hear the news, I get on. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had company. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Jackson! Mrs. Jackson, come quick! Vera's gone crazy and she's bashing on here. We can't stop her! Quiet! Well, she did ask especially... Miss to... Manson, oh, I know you're new here, but surely uh... you can handle a routine matter such as this. Hello, Aunt Erica. Auntie, she should be some. Where did you get these? I don't know. I didn't put them there. You know the penalty for possessing drugs? Good job, she's got that like 10% coming in. I didn't know you had any friends called Doreen and uh, Frankie. Well, you do now, don't you, Trevor? Hostage. Your aunt's not going to let this rest, you know. She'll go flat out to find how that stuff got in here. She'll only know if you tell her. But you wouldn't do that. What, Mel? You could lose your job. Oh, don't worry. I won't say anything either. I mean, I may need you. I'm going to do this to you every night in here. You understand? Every bloody night. I gave you an order. Get out of bed. Got out of Come bed. On. Time you had a taste of your own medicine, Vera. Put me through to the police. Yes, it's an emergency. Hello, look, look, I've got to talk fast. You know... You'll have to talk faster than that, Trevor. If either of you do a thing, you'll wish you hadn't been born. I'm in here for life. Remember? I've got nothing to lose. Don't go too into it, please. Man! We have a demo. What man? What man are you talking about, Sarah? What happened? The fear's growing in her. He, he please! Me. She hit her, Mrs. Jackson. I tried to stop her, but she just went crazy and laid her out. She's gone mad, I tell you. Crazy. Fear! Be discreet. Of course. Nobody must get hurt. We mustn't do anything to arouse suspicion. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 44. My memory's not great. Hello. 
<laughs> oh, and Linda, if you see David, will you have a word with him? He always responds to the older woman. <laughs> the more salt, the more buoyancy. Like the Dead Sea. Ask Linda. She's been in the Dead Sea. Oh, do you mean she doesn't always look like that? <laughs> Would you like me to scrub your back, you beautiful creature? <laughs> with you. Oh, I bet you look sensational. I wish I was the loafer. Oh, let me turn into a loafer. <laughs> Discretion. Not a word or a sound. Right. Nothing. What was if you hadn't put a towel there? It's okay to Let's keep the music sweet, wind up your ears and feel the night. Why, why don't we? Look, this is Desmond's barber shop. If you want it, you cut stay. If you want it, quaff your quaff off. I want you to go to the supermarket for me. You see what I've been reduced to spoke by? A gopher. Gopher? Yes, go for this, go for that. <laughs> them doctors is all the same. You tell them you got a sore throat, they tell you you got a sore foot, then they give you a prescription for high blood pressure. <laughs> I went to my doctor about my migraine and yeah, he... Migraine? Isn't that a middle-class headache? <laughs> we've got to do something about our image. I mean, for a start, what is that man doing on the phone? Making a phone call. <laughs> Gentlemen, shut up! Oh, Who are you, anyway? I'm his partner. You mean you got someone stupid enough to be a partner? <laughs> what do you mean, stupid enough? Look, man, get out of my shop. Yes, come out! I mean, no! <laughs> we have put our living within the tomb. Madeline, Asher and I have a great deal in common. Do you know Pearl? From the telly jobbies. <laughs> no. Don't show your break it. <laughs> it's like chessing them for old people. <laughs> I know you. Oh well. <laughs> I've been bringing that back down. They are on the sofa. Very funny. What have you done with it? What do you mean? Who oh, turned the heating on? the other cat? Yes, but it was stuffed. Is that for your brother? Hmm? Oh, my other brother. Hector. Oh, right. Is he... Disabled. No. Just lazy. <laughs> you can't just leave, Katie. I said it for what a reason. What about the snowman upstairs? He might melt. He's not going anywhere. He's an invalid. Um... Oh, one last thing, Katie. Just so you know, Andrus has a bell by his bed. He won't ring it. But if he does? He's never rung it. But I'm telling you, just in case. This lot looks like One Direction. Uh, do you think things like that actually exist? Don't think one so. One Direction? Sadly, yes, they do. <laughs> oh, are you really going to leave? Yes, I am. It was obviously said for a reason. Oh, no. Well, if he's not back in an hour, I'm phoning the police. With his hair like that, you'd do better phoning the dog's home. <laughs> Are they open at half I'm not one? worried. I'm furious. Just think, we all leave him, and he hasn't even got the decency to stay in. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet she emptied a cupboard for him, didn't she? Packed his things and half yours. Yeah, made him a blooming great lunch packet and gave you a lettuce leaf. <laughs> Not on your nelly, mate. She wouldn't dare. What she did? She did. Packed him a bloody great lunch and gave me nothing. <laughs> Every night you do this. I keep telling you it's the budgie. <laughs> He's got his head stuck in his bell again. <laughs> what you got up to. But don't think I don't know what went on, because I did. Inside. All the time. Go on and have your divorce. I know, Beatrice, you'll never get me out. I'm happy here. 
I couldn't be happy in your house, not with all the running hot and cold and morning coffee on God's earth. Have you sorted out about my mother's policies yet? There is, love. Well, am I going to get my money? Well, um... I'm not, am I? Tina. What? Let's forgive and forget. Well, we all make mistakes sometimes, don't we? Can't leave you in this state. Come on, pull yourself together. Just leave me alone. Obviously, for a woman of your age. That's right. Go on, put the tin lid on it. Shut up and get out. You got what you came for. I can help you too, Sam. Uh, tell me about your childhood. My parents sold my soul to the devil. So, oh, uh, <laughs> well, there's some abandonment and betrayal. And I'm gonna guess there was a lot of bedwetting. Okay. Police finally caught the butcher, but they never found any of his victims. There were rumors about what he did with the bodies. Fed him to the cattle? Okay. Turned him into fertilizer. Oh, God. Okay. What are we gonna do? Oh, I gotta stab it. See, I did say in the past. I want you guys to know, I worked very hard on my psychological health. <laughs> so what I'm about to do is very difficult for Fused me. into his arm. It's really going to hurt my heart. There is no freaking way I'm going back to hell. Roger. Do you want his snow globe? <laughs> Stab it now, stab it now. Okay. Get in the hole. That thing will kill us, Leon. No, not you. Just the bounty hunter. Leon, you don't want to do this. I know I don't. That's why I'm going to let Dog Boy do it for me. You're embarrassed. You're all afraid that people look you in the eye. This is not the Sam I know. You know, <laughs> thank you. Not helping. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But he's got the glow. Here's how it's going to play, all right? You let me go, and I don't blow your friend's face off. Don't be throwing stuff like that. Sir! 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 Where, where are the chickens? Where they always go to lazy eggs behind the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I will come straight to the point. If you do not get these uniforms by tonight, you will be shot. You don't beat about the bush, do you, Kevin? Oh, no. We are German officers. We cannot be a party to knocking out our own troops. But, Colonel, he was the one who hit you with his rifle butt. So he did. Thug. <laughs> Colonel, that girl is the only person who knows where the plane will land. I see we're in it up to here. <laughs> that makes it well over my head. <laughs> well, uh, perhaps she would like one as well. Oh, yes, I would love one. You do not drink on duty. Since <laughs> when? Since now. Perhaps you would like to give your wife one. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks on that. Now, sorry. Thanks for that, Phil. Phil? John! Is he just going to eat John. all the way through it? Stop eating the burgers! <laughs> right then. Um, Say my name properly. Mr Gilbert. Say thank you. Thank you. Is he a Say this? thank you, Mr Gilbert. Thank you, Mr Gilbert. Better. <laughs> Neil, what are you doing? I love you. Please. Oh, God! Out! Every year. Every year someone has a pop, don't they? Honestly, it seems like she's gonna slap you, but I think your erection scared her off. Fear not. The relationships that some of you have entered into tonight, well, they may seem like everything now, but they'll be over in a matter of weeks. <laughs> now, if we can just Optimism. make it home without tagging people's property... Yeah. I may go to bed relatively hate-free. Oi, you two! Do you want me to fetch up my dinner? Go home! Cut!
Come on. <laughs> what are you going to do? Cook something? Yes. I'm going to cook his goose. At least Tang got away with it. <laughs> 260. Shut up. 265. 265. 270. 200. What are you bidding against me for? <laughs> well, you're bidding against me. 275. You open the cupboard. I'll I'm going to be those. boiling. <laughs> hey, Ollie. What? Let's put it down a minute. No, a car's going to come. <laughs> Well, here's another nice mess you've got me into. Hmm. Well, I could not stop the look at I look like you now, you look like me, and I know what to do with you. I'm scared. Are you? Yeah. There's nobody there, yet, but it's just the oh, idea. There's nobody there. <laughs> I'd like actually to go from this bedroom and go a little bit further on, see if I can hear yeah. these um, men's voices. Men's that, voices. Yeah, and, and conversations. Well, I prefer women's voices. Women are nice. <laughs> men and men. Sure, well, mate. Nice. <gasps> oh, I know, I don't mean it like that. Are you still here? If you're still here. <gasps> that one was quite good, though, because it weren't just a little circle, that? it was like a spider web. Oh, They're the ones wow. that I like. Thank you so very much. Oh, you and again there's no records because it's a story he's real he's real all right tell him to play his pipes then i'll believe oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw it i saw it what where where talk to me you better have some of olive's medicine you don't mind do you olive couldn't care less, gives me wind. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Uh, that's me life belt. <laughs> life belt? <laughs> well, you're thinking of driving into the river, are you? <laughs> yeah, next time you're on board. <laughs> and while you're, while you're at it, you can put your clean pants on, too. Clean pants? <laughs> clean pants? Well, blow it, have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it in, I don't... <laughs> Smell nice anyway. Oh, blimey, I'm only gonna have a cup of tea, I'm not going on my honeymoon. <laughs> Give me a shit. Blimey, that's an killer. <laughs> <laughs>